Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we're going to be featuring some battles uh, using Heracross. Heracross is a bug and fighting type. Pretty interesting in the ultra premier meta. Not, you know, not super great against uh, uh, some of the main stakes of the Pokemon uh, of the ultra premier meta uh, like like Jellicent, uh Charmers, a bunch of flyers, but close combat uh, and uh, and earthquake in this case are are pretty good uh, moves to to run and utilize. So let's go ahead and get started with the battles. Before we get into the battles, I uh, just want to make a really quick announcement. I have been sponsored by G Fuel, so this video and subsequent videos uh, will be sponsored by G Fuel. I appreciate everyone's support. I really enjoy G Fuel products, so hopefully uh, you will as well and save a few dollars. Uh, we're gonna have Empoleon into uh, Swampert. This is actually a pretty okay matchup, uh, pretty neutral. Uh, uh, I believe Swampert can win the win most shield scenarios, but it's, it's very bait dependent. Uh, so they throw the Hydrogen here. I think they actually win the two shield straight Hydrogen. Um, this would come really close to KOing, so gonna have to shield here once is at the Hydrogen, so really wants to get this uh, second one off. Gonna switch out into Rosary here. Uh, gonna be met by okay, that that's a weird um, counter switch. They're gonna counter switch a uh, Powder Snow Alolan Nine Tails. Uh, thankfully, uh, this Rosary has a Sludge Bomb, which is a very uncommon moveset, especially when you're pairing it with um, uh, Poison Jab. So typically not what you would normally see, but that's fine. Gonna go into Heracross. Heracross obviously resisting the much shot due to its bug typing. And then here comes Obama Snow, and Obama Snow is absolutely gonna get ripped apart here uh, by this close combat, and that's gonna be a GG. Uh, Heracross again, pretty slightly tankier um, than Machamp, but still quite attack weighted. And we're gonna have Empoleon into Mandibuzz, pretty neutral matchup. Um, yeah, pretty pretty neutral matchup. So not really too much to say here. Uh, the basic it's pretty very similar to the Umbreon matchup. Um, obviously, because Midbus has pretty similar bulk. Oh, interesting. They built up to 100. Gonna go into Roserade here um, versus this um, Politoed here. Gonna bait the potential Grass Nod or uh, Leaf Storm. Uh, let's see what they're gonna do here. They're gonna no shield the Weather Ball. And we're gonna see. They unlikely bait. Oh, they do bait twice. Okay. Gonna go for the Sludge Bomb. Uh, this Sludge Bomb, even though it's neutral, should uh, almost KO. It's Politoed. Uh, could be able to live this. And then looks like one more Poison Jab after this. And that's gonna be wrapped for that. And gonna get, look to land uh, this Weather Ball. And this Mandibuzz is over 100 energy, so kind of a weird play by the opponent. Uh, definitely should throw the move and potentially grab a shield here. Nope, gonna go for the full farm down. They're gonna get to two here. For sure. And gonna switch out into Heracross to catch the foul play. Um, and then gonna be met by Needle Queen here. Needle Queen very unlikely to shield this Earthquake. Uh, one, because the Empoleon is loaded. And as well, typically you carry Mega Horn and uh, Close Combat. So I expect no shield here. And then uh, farm down of the Manda Buzz. And that's gonna be a GG. Very, very interesting Musa. Uh, I guess obviously you're losing the. Uh, potential like psychic coverage and I'm sure a few other ones uh, by running that moveset and as well like uh, there's no stab on the earthquake uh, but there is stab on Megahorn but Megahorn's base 100 earthquakes base 120 so they do the same damage when it comes to neutral scenarios so against like Venusaur for example but it is obviously more energy to run uh, um, run it so gonna no shield this and look to land the hydro cannon the other Swamper must have had a breakpoint because it looks like he survived that pretty easily. And this should be a Hydro Cannon. Oh, it's an Earthquake, okay. All right, here comes Talonflame here. Okay, so Talonflame will 100% not shield this because uh, it's typically the, the moveset that you see run. Uh, can we go for the Farm Down, very nice. Oh yeah, obviously they didn't have that. Okay, um, I think you close combat here and bail. Mm, kind of have to shield this, but um, should be an okay spot here. Now I can okay, gonna go for the earthquake. I probably would have doubled up on the close combat, 
but it's good enough to take care of. Whoa. God, okay, stop it, Google. Stop it, Google. All right, gonna catch the move here. Um, nice undercharge by them, but this is this game over anyway, so. All right, we're gonna move on to the third game here. And we have Empoleon into Talonflame, obviously really great lead here. They're gonna come into, um, into Umbreon and gonna counter switch into uh, um, Heracross. So Heracross is tankier as you can as you can see here uh, than the than the other fighter. So it should be able to survive the second last resort. Yeah, should be able to survive no problem. Gonna be able to farm down, and then I. If you can live one sooner and get the close combat off, which actually would be pretty nice. Oh, no, you're not able to get there. That's that's totally fine. Not too big a deal. And then here comes Venusaur into Rosary. Rosary absolutely dominates this match. Double resist the Vine Whips, do neutral with the Poison Jabs, and then a Sludge Bomb definitely will not KO. Rosary, it's neutral, plus it's the Ultra League, uh, so should be able to throw a move here. Uh, doesn't look like they're gonna shield. Let's see. Yeah, they're not gonna shield, but this game's over, right? Like, uh, but they're gonna do their best to uh, got a waterfall through. I think you just double shield and farm farm this all the way down. Yeah, this is just no way. Got another waterfall through, and there's not really much they can do to control that. And then a couple more, and able to take out the talent flame. We're gonna have Empoleon into Scrafty. Probably gonna safe switch the uh, Rosary. Gonna be met by Talonflame. But again, this Talonflame, there's just absolutely no way they shield this uh, Sludge Bomb. And then should be able to win the switch back here. Um, and then gonna be able to shield this. Should be able to, well, I think one more Poison Jab uh, will KO. And we're probably gonna see the Scrafty come back in. Oh, it's a Manda Buzz, okay. If they would have came Manda Buzz, definitely would have been a lot trickier to win the switch here. Okay, no shield this for sure. And then obviously come back in Polyon, they might switch. They are not. Good. Definitely gotta let this go. And then uh, look to lay in the, okay. I was gonna say even throwing the move there would have been okay. Uh, but this, this is totally fine. There's not too much they can do. Uh, hair cross is an absolute wall to to Scrafty uh, since it does uh, resist uh, all the moves that Scrafty has. Gonna be able to farm down here and land two close combats. They're gonna have to shield one of these. Um, well, ideally both of them because uh, these these would do more than the Hydrogen. Hydrogen is base 180. Um, um, uh, close combat is base um, base 100. And then has a move loaded here. So should be able to land this Hydro Cannon here and the opponent decides to, to leave the match. So very nice uh, play there. All right, pick up the nice 5-0 there. Let's just uh, speed this up a little bit here. All right, can go Empoleon into Altaria. Uh, this is where you want to see it. But not not the best matchup uh, on either side. Like pretty uh, long matchup, lots of resistant moves being thrown or uh, weak coverage moves. And gonna be able to tank this sky attack no problem. Gonna throw a uh, uh, drill pack here. Uh, this would um, put the Altaria pretty low. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see the Altaria potentially moon blast. Um, okay, decides to go sky attack. I think Moonblast would have been better there if they had it. Okay, gonna immediately switch into uh, into Rosary here. Um, they have to go for the Dark Pulse. They could bait with Thunder Punch, uh, but let's see if they're, if they're gonna do that. They Acid Sprayed, okay. Okay, well not necessarily what I was expecting here. And gonna throw the Fire Weather Ball again. Um, but this, uh, this, uh, Muck is kind of a pain here, so. Okay, gonna throw the Hydro Cannon. They decide not to shield it, which actually is kind of huge, okay. Mm. Okay, um, this is not the most comfortable situation here. Okay, 
Okay, this close combat should do a lot of damage. Um, but I, unless you can survive in, oh yeah, there's no way, there's no way they're gonna be able to, to survive that move there. Uh, the talent flame was too boosted up at that point in time. All right, we're going Empoleon into Machamp. Obviously gonna go Rosary here. Interesting. Uh, well, okay, that's kind of a weird play. They come in Venusaur into Rosary. Okay, gonna no shield this. A Frenzy Plant, which does absolutely nothing. Gonna farm up a bunch of energy. Actually, you know, it looks to completely farm down, and the opponent decides to leave the match, uh, saying it was, it was a little bit too much to handle. All right, we're going into this next game here. Empoleon Mirror, let's see how they wanna play it. Gonna go straight into Rosary here. Gonna be met by Gallade. Um, and that, that's a reasonable switch in, because I think it's reasonable to predict a Gallade in the back. Uh, you let this go. Should be able to get this Weather Ball off still. Yeah, gonna be able to get this Weather Ball off. Um, I think we'll actually survive this confusion. No, she doesn't, that's actually better. And they're gonna look to farm all the way down. I think you have to shield this, but okay. No, gonna leave. They're gonna leave blade here, so very nice. Mm. Okay, gonna throw the hydro cannon here. Um, they're probably gonna look to switch after this. I'm gonna have to shield this. This uh, drill pack would deal double super effective damage. Oh, here comes the Unisaur. Um, this is obviously where um, Mega Horn would come in handy since it is cheaper. Uh, gonna go throw the uh, earthquake here. I'd be surprised by no shield. Um, they will outpace here though. Okay, or are they gonna look to farm down all the way? This earthquake should do a good chunk of damage and it's doing just enough and then should be able to shield this and uh, take out um, the impulse. Okay, gonna go for the farm down for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. I'm uh, gonna throw out the last minute here and take out the Empoleon with Hydro Cannon. Not a good lead here. Gonna go straight into Rose right here. Gonna be met by um, Snorlax. I would, I would be surprised by going um, Weather Ball here, but let's see. Maybe you can make it to two Weather Balls. Okay, they do shield. Gonna go for this. Oh man, just barely missed it on the sludge bomb there. That's actually really bad. That's actually really, really bad here. Okay, gonna go into uh, air cross here. They body slam. They should be able to reach another one. Oh, they don't. Okay. Okay, they come into G fist. Okay, interesting. Um, this close combat should be enough to KO. Okay, no, okay, come into, um, I gotta let this go. Sh can they live this? No, they cannot. Uh, gonna throw the close combat here. Uh, I think you shield this and farm all the way down. Yeah, they go for the rock slide, which is actually really helpful here, but I don't think it would make a difference anyways. And then gonna throw the close combat. And that's gonna be GG. Heracross closing this matchup very nicely there. We're gonna have a, okay, that's very not great here. Uh, honestly, one of the biggest core breakers of this team. Need my bomb here. Oh, Lapras, okay, that's okay. And a weather ball here. Gonna look to land this sludge bomb here, okay? Hoping to bait a shield here. This is actually, okay, it does. I think you let it go. Farm it all the way down. Um, hmm. Could build up quite a bit of energy with uh, Empoleon, besides go into Heracross here. Okay, gonna catch the Surf. I like this play. And then basically look to Waterfall down. Oh, okay, they came, okay. Interesting, I guess that makes sense. Uh, definitely no shield. And then gonna look to land this second Hydro Cannon to put this um, Poison Empoleon very low. Okay, uh, I think you let it go. And then look to farm down. 
should be able to easily farm down. And then we're gonna see the Toxic Cook probably come back in. Yeah, gonna go for the Earthquake here. Let's see if they decide to shield this. No shield. <laughs> this Earthquake tech is uh, actually working out quite well there. And most people not expecting the Earthquake and would be able to survive the close combat or or, um, or the double resistant Mega Horn. So picked up some very nice win in that set. Uh, thank you very much for saving those battles. Hair across, super fun Pokemon. And it's going to be there. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see everyone in the next video.